All right, guys, welcome back to Rip Lippin' with Mo. And we are out here in the shop. And today we're gonna go over how to create GPS waypoints by using Google Earth and importing them into your Hummingbird here on these fine Skeeter boats. So y'all stay tuned, we're gonna get right on it. All right, hey guys, here we are in Google Earth. And what we're demonstrating to you is how to use Google Earth to help you get back into certain areas, uh, maybe save you some prop damage or lower unit damage. Uh, at least it does for me. So here on Lake Tawakne, you can see there's Squirrel Cove. This is Oak Cove. This is old 276 right here. You come under the bridge. And one of the main feeder creeks in this lake is way back up in here. So what I simply do is I find these imageries uh, on Google Earth. This is an example of March of 2014. And I come in here and I pinpoint where the mouth of the creek is so I can follow the deepest path up to the mouth of the creek. And I put a waypoint on every one of these things so I can have a trail into getting in there uh, when the lake becomes full again and fish in the arms of these creeks. So this is real simple on how to do all of this. I have a list of folders over here, as you can see. And this one here is Lake Tawakne that I'm using as an example. So I hit the little push pin. It blinks at you and you can relocate this thing anywhere you want. And then I'm just gonna stick this one right here. As you can see, it gives you the coordinates GPS coordinates and all you have to do is call it a name give it a name and for this one here uh, we're just gonna call it Creek oops I remember how to type there Creek path to bend and click on OK and it saves it for you and puts it over here into your lake folder and now I've got a easy pathway to get from this bridge to the back of this pocket for where the creek starts getting real kind of skinny as you can see it's a real skinny flat but if i want to get into the mouth of this creek i'm just going to follow these gps coordinates that'll show up on my hummingbird mapping utility and uh, get up there in this creek and fish the creek as you can see when this lake's low this has a lot of water in it still and uh, those are what we call residential bass and uh, they obviously didn't make it out here. So these things stay in here and they feed and feed and they live their lives. Uh, but many will make it out and many from the main lake will make it in there. Uh, but at the same time, when the lake's full, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the lake is full. Here's the current picture. You can see all of this is full. And unless you know where you're going, you're gonna have to idle around in here and uh, bump up against stumps and trees and lay downs and anything else and uh you know you may tear an ear off of your prop so i just choose not to do that and i want to go straight to the mouth and here i go i just follow my path straight into the creek and if i wanted to stick another one right here as an example once again i come up here click on my button drag it to a darker area where it's cleaner water starting point of creek mouth Call it whatever you want, and again, click on OK, and save it. Simple as that. Next, we're going to go over the tools to convert these so your Hummingbird can use them and import them, and we're going to go over that next. Stay tuned. All right, now the fun part begins on converting all of your Google Earth points here into a file that your hummingbird can actually use. So first things first is you come up here to your folder, right click on it and tell it the safe place as, and I've already done this so you can kind of see it, and it saves it as a KMZ file. And I saved it right here on my desktop. It gives you a nice name under the Google Pro Earth logo here, and you save it as that KMZ file. I just click save on your desktop. Then you close this out and open up a browser and come right here to gpsvirtualizer.com or visualizer rather, gpsvisualizer.com. And 
you browse to that KMZ file that you saved on your desktop, which will be right there, and click open. And then what you do from there is you tell it that you want it to become a GPX file. And then you tell it to convert. Real simple. Convert, click on that, you can see it's working, and then now it's telling you to download your .gpx file. So in the efforts of downloading it, you download it, save it, okay? And then when you save it, you have to go back in and rename it. So it's in your downloads directory, and all I do is simply right click on it and rename it. Simple as this, rename, and I call this one TWOC for Tawakany, and you have to leave it as a GPX file, okay? If you're using Hummingbird, you have to leave it as a GPX file. Then I close out my Windows Explorer, and then I come over here to the Hummingbird PC software. And I simply tell it to import into this software. So simply put file, open. I want to open up my GPX file from my desktop. I click open, and it sees that I'm already using it, but that's okay. And then here it comes up. And here it shows you the blue dots for an icon as a GPS dot uh, that it's using. So I commonly use the blue dots for my GPS way markers. You can change that if you want to. I choose not to. Uh, again, my choice, uh, you can change it to you know, whatever path that you wish. Uh, but I'll just leave it as the blue dots because again, it is um, just a waypoint uh, to get into a path. And then after you do that, all you gotta do is come here to your SD card and tell it you wish to upload from your PC because this is all on your desktop, all your files are on your desktop, and you wish to upload from your PC to an SD card, which is the green up arrow. And then it will literally copy all of those into your SD card. And then you take your SD card over to your Humminbird and we'll import the files from there inside your Humminbird. And that'll be our next step. I'll walk you through that. Hang tight, more's coming. So to import these into your Humminbird unit, first thing you gotta do is come in here and turn your batteries on in your boat. Click that to a one. You'll hear the power, po power poles, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, get some power and then you come up here, turn the power on to your dash let your blue lights light up and then take these covers off of your hummingbird unit and then simply power it on now it's going to need a few moments to boot up and uh, i'm not going to sit here and force you to watch it boot up so uh, we're just going to skip a few scenes here be right back all right so here on your hummingbird solix you have uh, the home button here and it takes you to this. But to import your waypoints, you have to click on this all tools. So you can get to this files menu right here. You click on that, go into your import settings right there and tell it to import. And it's gonna find your file off of your SD card, which you inserted down over here. So this is the name of the file. Tell it to import and it does its thing. And it'll give you a readout of how many files were imported uh, successfully. Now, here's, here's what I want to demonstrate to you. I'm coming back to my home page and I'm going to my chart, right? Clicking on my chart and bam, look. Every one of these, you can see the abbreviation and everything, how to get in and follow that creek into the back, oop, oop, to Lake Tawakany. So you can see it keeps all of these GPS points and you go back into the creek. And to zoom out, again, there's Lake Tawakany. So once again, uh, this should tell you how to create GPS waypoints on Google Earth, convert them to a GPX file that Humminbird can use, import them into Humminbird PC, and then import them into your unit. And then you can use that data 
to go out and find some key fishing spots for which uh, you want to spend some time using side imaging or whatever and uh, hopefully catch some more fish. All right guys, hopefully that little tip and trick uh, will help you catch some more fish. It's definitely helped me identify where I want to go, how I can safely get there without tearing my little unit out or breaking a prop ear off. Uh, so hopefully you can find this uh, video of some value and uh, get on the water and navigate it safely. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate the watching. Y'all have a good day.